in other parts of Chicago, parents aren't sending their children to school worrying if there's going to be an explosion across the street from a factory. But that's happening on the south and west sides of Chicago because the city is deeming these neighborhoods as sacrifice zones. worked at one of the mills here in the neighborhood so everyone knows each other which was kind of cool it's it's has that really small town feel but you also knew a lot of family members who had cancer who had asthma who had similar diseases so that kind of instilled in me a lot of curiosity at a young age like why is everyone really sick around here and is that linked to the industry that surrounds us. intersection used to smell really terrible so growing up my dad would tell me and my siblings to roll up our windows as soon as we would get to this intersection because it smelled so terrible it was such a pungent foul odor and so it's like muscle memory that to this day I find myself telling my son the same thing when I was pregnant that was the first thought in my head was, am I going to be telling my son to roll up his windows like my dad used to tell me? And that is what kind of what clicked in my head that that wasn't the narrative I wanted for my son. And so I had to do something about it. General Iron is located is in a predominantly wealthy white neighborhood. The city of Chicago listens to them and is moving that facility to my neighborhood across the street from this high school. We don't need a, another really notorious dirty polluter on the southeast side of Chicago. This is a clear example of environmental racism. dream of is that I stopped getting photos and videos taken of me in front of toxic industry. I said one day there's going to be a photo taken of me in front of a solar farm or an urban garden or a non-polluting industry. That's my dream um, and I won't stop until that photo is getting taken of me and my son. 